Hi there, welcome to Teaching Through Television. I'm Ms. Exley, and today I'm going to read a really fun book for you, and we're going to have a reading lesson. Before I begin, I would like to introduce you to your reading goals for today. Your first learning goal is, I can predict what will happen in a story before and during reading. The second learning goal I have for you today is I can use information about the characters, setting, or plot to retell the story. The book we're going to read today is called Nanette's Baguette. The author and illustrator of this book is Mo Willems. Now you might not have heard of Mo Willems, but I bet you've read some of his books. He also writes Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus and the other pigeon stories. He writes Nuffle Bunny about Trixie and her bunny. And he also writes The Elephant and Piggy books, if you have any of those at home or at school that you've read. So in this book, Nanette is going to get a baguette. A baguette is a kind of bread, looks like this. It's long and skinny, and it's real crispy on the outside, and then nice and soft on the inside. And when it's baking, it smells very good. I can actually smell it through the, through the bag here. A baguette is a kind of bread that comes from France. I want to show you here on the map where the United States, where the circle is, and then all the way across the Atlantic Ocean where the star is, that is the country of France. In the book, Nanette is going to buy her baguette from the bakery. A bakery is a place where people go to buy bread and cakes. Bread is a good. Goods are things you can buy and use, like food, clothes, and toys. The community helper who works in the bakery is called a baker. A baker is a person who makes the bread and the cakes. Nanette is going to buy her baguette from the baker, but she runs into some trouble along the way. So we are going to read this book two times. The first time, we are going to make some predictions while we read. A prediction is a good guess about what will happen in the story. You make predictions by using clues from the story. So as we read, we will predict what might happen to the characters. It is okay for our predictions to be wrong, but we also might want to change or revise our predictions while we read. So let's get started. Nanette's Baguette, Words and Pictures by Mo Willems. Nanette, today is a day Nanette won't soon forget. Today, in the kitchenette, Mom tells Nanette that Nanette gets to get the baguette. Baguettes are warm. Baguettes smell wonderful. Getting to get the baguette is Nanette's biggest responsibility yet. Is Nanette set to get the baguette? You bet. So what do you notice so far about the words in this book? I notice that all of the words in the book are rhyming with baguette. Now rhyming is a tricky thing to do. Do you think it was challenging for Mo to rhyme so many words with baguette? I bet it was. Let's keep reading. But on the way, Nanette sees Georgette, and Suzette, and Brett with his clarinet. And look, there's Mr. Barnett with his pet Antoinette. Nanette pets Antoinette. Did Nanette forget the baguette? Got a jet, I've got a baguette to get, says Nanette to the quartet. Baker Juliet has met Nanette. She knows it is Nanette's first baguette get. So Juliet gets Nanette the best baguette yet. Nanette, did you get the baguette? You bet. So let's stop here and make some predictions. If you are watching this with an adult or with a brother and sister, you can talk to them about your predictions. But if you're watching alone, you can just think about it in your brain. That's okay too. So what do you predict will happen next? So far, Nanette has gone to the bakery. She has her baguette. What is she going to do now?
And why do you think that? Let's find out. The baguette is warm. The baguette smells wonderful. And there sure is a lot of it. Hmm. Now what do you predict might happen next? <coughs> Crack. Uh-oh. The baguette is warm. The baguette tastes wonderful. And there still is a lot of it. The baguette is warm. The baguette tastes wonderful. And there still is a lot of it. Crack. The baguette is still warm. The baguette still tastes wonderful. And there still is some of it. Can Nanette stop tasting the baguette? What do you predict might happen next? Do you think Nanette will stop tasting the baguette? Or will it be something else? Not yet. Crack, 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 crack. Hmm, baguette. Oh no! There is no more baguette. Nanette begins to fret. Will mom be upset? Will mom regret she let Nanette get the baguette? Kaboom! Now Nanette is wet. Wet with no baguette. This is as bad as it can get. Nanette wishes mom had never let Nanette get that baguette. Maybe Nanette will move to Tibet. Tibet is as far away as you can get. Nanette would need a jet. Can Nanette go home instead? Can Nanette face her mom? What will she do? What do you predict Nanette will do? Where is the baguette, Nanette? asked Mom. Did you forget? Nanette did not forget. Nanette is upset. Nanette is beset with regret. She sweats. I ate the baguette. Oh, sweetie. Mom hugs Nanette. It is warm. It is wonderful like a million baguettes. Predict what will happen next. What do you think Mom and Nanette will do? The day's not over yet, Nanette, says Mom. Let's reset. Yes, let's, said Nanette. Baker Juliet is surprised to see Nanette, but not too surprised. Nanette's mom gets another baguette. Now they are all set. Mom, Nanette, and a baguette. The baguette is warm. The baguette smells wonderful. Hmm, look at that picture there of mom holding the baguette. What do you think will happen next? What's your prediction? <coughs> Let's find out. Crack. Mom! Today is a day Nanette won't soon forget. The end. Did this ending surprise you? What do you think Mom and Nanette might do next? This was a really funny book. Do you know someone who might enjoy reading this story? To get them excited about reading Nanette's Baguette, you might tell them a little more about the book. So next, we will practice using the characters, events, problem, and solution to tell someone about Nanette's baguette. It might be helpful for us to read the book again before we retell it, 
But first, I wanted to tell you a little more about Mo Willems and how he created the illustrations for his book. So if you look on the back cover, you can see one of the illustrations, and Mo didn't draw these pictures, and he didn't do them on the computer. He actually built them using paper and cardboard boxes, and he taped the paper up on the wall and he drew a village on it, and then he used boxes to make the stores and restaurants and houses and he propped them up and he took pictures of them with his camera and then he put the pictures into his book. So it was really a 3D village and I want to show you a video real quick of what it looked like when Mo created the illustrations for this story. Le dimanche matin, on change de décor au puce de Saint-Ouen, la course au trésor. À nous la broc dans le bric à brac, on fouine et on craque pour des trucs en toc. Le marché au bus, porte clignant en cours, c'est un et tant et plus, le tour de détour. Marché Malik vers les onze serpettes, on cherche le bonheur du jour. Au bus de Saint-Ouen, au bus de Saint-Ouen, au bus de Saint-Ouen, au bus de Saint-Ouen. Mo Willems is a very talented author and illustrator. Wasn't that a cool way to design the illustrations for his story? So this time we will read the book again, all the way through without stopping. But before we do, let's talk about the parts of the book that we want to pay attention to. Characters are the people or animals in the story. Events are what happens in the story. The problem is what goes wrong in the story. And the solution is how the problem is solved. So while we're reading a book for the second time, make sure to pay close attention to these parts so we can retell the story at the end. Also, Mo Willems likes to sneak a hidden picture of the pigeon into all of his illustrations. So look closely and see if you can find the pigeon hidden somewhere in the pictures of the book. Nanette's Baguette. Nanette, today is a day Nanette won't soon forget. Today in the kitchenette, mom tells Nanette that Nanette gets to get the baguette. Baguettes are warm, baguettes smell wonderful, and getting to get the baguette is Nanette's biggest responsibility yet. Is Nanette set to get the baguette? You bet. But on the way, Nanette sees Georgette, and Suzette, and Brett with his clarinet. And look, there's Mr. Barnett with his pet Antoinette. Nanette pets Antoinette. Did Nanette forget the baguette? Got a jet, I've got a baguette to get, says Nanette to the quartet. Baker Juliet has met Nanette. She knows it is Nanette's first baguette get. So Juliet gets Nanette the best baguette yet. Nanette, did you get the baguette? You bet. The baguette is warm. The baguette smells wonderful. And there sure is a lot of it. Crack. The baguette is warm. The baguette tastes wonderful, and there still is a lot of it. Crack! The baguette is still warm. The baguette still tastes wonderful, and there still is some of it. Can Nanette stop tasting the baguette? Not yet! Crack! Crack! Crack, crack, crack. Hmm, baguette. Oh no! There is no more baguette. Nanette begins to fret. Will mom be upset? Will mom regret she let Nanette get the baguette? Kaboom! Now Nanette is wet, wet with no baguette. This is as bad as it can get. 
Nanette wishes Mom had never let Nanette get that baguette. Maybe Nanette will move to Tibet. Tibet is as far away as you can get. Nanette would need a jet. Can Nanette go home instead? Can Nanette face her mom? What will she do? Where is the baguette, Nanette? asked mom. Did you forget? Nanette did not forget. Nanette is upset. Nanette is beset with regret. She sweats. I ate the baguette. Oh, sweetie. Mom hugs Nanette. It is warm. It is wonderful. Like a million baguettes. The day is not over yet, Nanette, says Mom. Let's reset. Yes, let's, says Nanette. Baker Juliet is surprised to see Nanette, but not too surprised. Nanette's mom gets another baguette. Now they are all set. Mom, Nanette, and a baguette. The baguette is warm. The baguette smells wonderful. Crack! Mom! Today is a day Nanette won't soon forget. The end. This was such a good book, and I really want to share it with my friends and family. So let's think about our characters, our problem, and our solution from the story to help us tell our friends and family about this great book. I'm going to need you to go quickly and get a piece of paper and something to write with so that we can retell this story together. So I'll count backwards from 10, and when I get to zero, we'll begin. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, so you are going to take your piece of paper, and I want you to fold it in half hot dog style, so it's long and skinny. Or we could say baguette style, long and skinny. And then I want you to open it up, and in the middle, where you folded it, I just want you to draw a line straight across. Then we're going to go to the middle of our line, and we're going to draw another line straight up. And we're going to go back to our middle line, and we need to make two lines this time. So we have three boxes on the bottom. So I'm just going to draw one here and here. If your boxes aren't perfect, that's okay. So we are going to retell our story thinking about the somebody wanted but so then um, chart. And I know some of you may do this in class with your teacher, so you might be familiar with it. So let's start with our first box that says somebody. The somebody is the character from our story. So who was the main character in this story? That's right, our main character was Nanette. So in our first box on our paper, we are going to write Nanette. If you parents are teaching younger children at home, they might want to draw a picture of Nanette in the box instead, and that's fine as well. I'll give you just a second to work on that. Next, we're going to move to the next box of our, our paper, and this is the box where we are going to write what our character wanted. So think about Nanette. What did she want in this story? What did she want to do? You're right. She wanted to get the baguette. I'll give you just a second to write or draw about that on your paper. Now we're going to go down to the bottom of our paper, and we're going to look at the one that says, but, up on my screen. The but of the retelling is the problem. This is where the character ran into a problem. So Nanette wanted to get the baguette, but what happened? What was the problem? That's right, she ate the baguette on the way home. I'll give you just a second to add that to your paper. 
The next section we're going to look at is the middle box, and that is the so. So the so is kind of what the character did to solve the problem. So Nanette wanted to get the baguette, but she ate the baguette on the way home. So what did she do about it? You might have said something like she told her mom the truth, and you might have said, well, they go to get a new baguette to replace the one that Nanette ate. You are correct. Go ahead and write that on your paper. And finally, the final box on our paper is the then. The then is just kind of what happens after the character solved the problem. How does the story end? So Nanette wanted to get the baguette, but she ate the baguette on the way home. So they had to go get a new baguette, but then what happened next? Yep, this was the funny part of the story where mom ate the new baguette. So now that we have our paper completed, we can go back and we can retell the story using what we wrote. So we might say to our friends that we are telling about this book, Nanette wanted to get the baguette, but she ate the baguette on the way home. So she tells mom the truth and they go get a new baguette. But then mom ate the new baguette. Good job, boys and girls. What a great job that was retelling the story. Parents, I wanted to give you some ideas for how you can use this at home. Using just about any fiction book, your child can make predictions while reading. You can stop like I did in pivotal moments of the story and invite your child to make a good guess about what will happen next. You can invite them to change their predictions as you read and find out new information. You can also use the Somebody Wanted But So Then format to retell any fiction book that has an obvious problem and solution. It's a good structure for including all of the important parts when retelling a story. I also wanted to share a social studies and STEAM connection that you could do at home. You can create your own 3D art village like Mo. He used regular ordinary paper and cardboard boxes and he just turned them the other way and taped them up and then he drew a village and used boxes to make the buildings. You could do this and include several stores and businesses that you might find in your community, like hospitals and restaurants. And then you can talk with your child about who works at each place and whether they provide the community with a good or a service. Some fun extensions for this book are to find a recipe using baguettes and get cooking in the kitchen. When I taught this with a class of students, we made baguette pizzas. Cooking is also a great way to incorporate math skills with comparing quantities and measurement with numbers. Uh, Mo Willems also does a daily doodles on his YouTube channel. If you have a budding artist, you might want to check that out to learn to draw some of his characters. Also in this book, Mo Willems added humor to the story by thinking of many words that rhymed with baguette. Invite your child to think of a food and make a list of words that rhyme with that food. And you might even want to challenge yourself to create a book with your rhymes. Boys and girls, I challenged you to look for the pigeon in the illustrations while we were reading the second time. Did you find him? I'll show you. He was on this page, and if you look very closely in the umbrella stand, you'll see the pigeon's, the pigeon's face. He's on one of the umbrellas. It's very clever of Mo Willems to do that in his stories. Boys and girls, thank you for watching with me today. You did a great job making predictions and retelling the story. I hope you have a great rest of your day and thanks for tuning in to Teaching Through Television.